Hey, Minifish. It's the 2nd of January, 2018. And I saw this yesterday, and it struck me as very peculiar. Fruit of War. Pope Francis prints photo of Nagasaki victims. And he shows this image of a young boy, 9, 10 years old or whatever, carrying his dead little brother. That's what it says. And it describes him here. Pope Francis is having cards printed and distributed showing a 1945 photo of victims of the nuclear bombing of Nagasaki, along with the words, the fruit of war. The photo captures a boy carrying his dead brother on his shoulders while he waits for his turn at the crematory. It was taken by U.S. Marine photographer so-and-so in the end of World War II. The leader of the world's Roman Catholics asked that the fruit of war be written in the back of the card along with his signature, Franciscus. A short caption explained the content and origin of the photo. It reads in part, the young boy's sadness is expressed only in his gesture of biting his lips, which are oozing blood. Now, yeah, that's, that's just a very telling image. This is the story of humanity. Over and over and over again, like this cannibalistic snake eating its tail. Gotta kill them guys before they kill us. Oh, but your beliefs are different than mine. Anyway, he shows this image. If he showed the entirety of the image, well, you'd see that the boy is not so much sad as he is angry, enraged, and standing like a good little soldier more than likely doing what his father taught him, planning on avenging those who killed his little brother, right? And so it goes, and it goes on and on. But the weirdest thing about this whole article is it just lists all these nuclear detonation images, like how they built the bomb, how Einstein urged the president to build the bomb before the bad guys did. And then, of course, he lamented afterwards, th saying that he wished he didn't help build the bomb. And it just goes through all the history of the nuclear bomb development. But I want you to just check out this one image right here. Now, what does that look like to you? <laughs> and you know what that is? That is the first use of of the atomic bomb right there. That's what we're told. You know what the name of that project was called? Trinity. Of all things they could have named it, they name it Trinity. Nice big all-seeing eye. And they put all kinds of pride and everything. Look at this. And this is the Pope wanting to share the devastation. It's insane, people. Why is the Pope putting out this image and this message right now? It doesn't even say. But I can tell you this, he had it signed Franciscus intentionally. I've never seen that before. His name is Francis, not Franciscus. Franciscus is not Argentinian or Spanish. It's Swedish, Danish, Norwegian, and Finnish. It's that simple as that it means frank frenchman why would he put franciscus maybe france something in france perhaps or san francisco this is how they operate folks and i just had to share it with you because i just got that little creepy feeling that's all franciscus is not a derivative of his name at all why okay that's just one little thing i mean why is the pope releasing this at the new year you know he's a weird dude man but i'll tell you there's a message behind this there's not one mention of jesus in this entire article but there's plenty of destruction plenty of death plenty of deception trying to convince you that these men were all heroes and you know, they should be uplifted. Look at that. The first use of the atomic bomb. And that's the image that they want to remember it with. Right? Trinity. Come on. Seriously? 
where was it? A couple of days ago, the Pope was, uh, he was delighting in a circus performance during audience. He's got acrobats bouncing around in front of him with polar bear. I mean, this is insane. Have you guys ever seen the audience hall of the Pope? I got a picture here. Does that look like anything to you? <laughs> look, I got one of, a, of one that was being constructed. Look at this. Look at that. You think their design was intentional? My goodness. And not only that, I mean, this sculpture that's on the stage here where the Pope sits in front of, it's literally a image of Jesus being melted away, essentially, by a nuclear blast. That's what it is. It's insane, people. But just him mentioning all this stuff, the Franciscus, the French Frisco, all this garbage. This is just what I see. Nuclear everything everywhere. And the story of mankind right here that the Pope will never tell you. That unless you go inside and fix this issue spiritually, this is what you're going to get forever and ever. Just a never-ending circle of death. You need Jesus. It's a spiritual war, folks. It's the only way out of this darkness. So, I just saw it. Wanted to share it. Thought it worthy. So, uh, there you have it. Peace and grace to y'all. Any fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 